What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon and welcome to this update on Jasmi. Uh, we'll do a quick technical update. We have to talk about some fundamentals for that. So I'll go over them briefly, but I think it's valuable for you all though to know those as well. Uh, but we have to talk about them because they made us drop down. Uh, all right, so, so we'll talk about that. But uh, for now, hope you're all doing great. Jasmi itself, if we take a look at the statistics, volume has gone up a little bit. It's uh, compared to the markets, market cap it's it's good but um compared to what it used to be over the last year it's it's very low and even over the last three months it's it's relatively low um even though yeah it's 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 pretty low all right and and jasmine itself has obviously fallen a lot as well in the last three months um now what happened friday is is this was not due to anything regarding jasmine right uh, jasmine whether you love it or not it's uh it, it it did good this was not because of it um, but what did happen is that last week was a was a big fundamental week, and uh, and and we got some bearish fundamentals like the monetary policy in the U.S. not changing even though the inflation rate is um, <clears throat> is dropping. So what happened if if we combine that with the technicals is that we got that news on Wednesday evening. Then we had a big uh, resistance touch right here uh, off of this trend line, which used to be. Our bullish momentum this used to be the foundation for the bullish momentum we had uh, after the ftx crash uh, but it, we took a we took a resistance touch there and that uh, ultimately made us drop that through our support level at 350 which is 0 0.35 cents but in this video i'll refer to it as 350 or 350 all right uh, so it uh, it made us test that and then friday what happened is that just continued bearish momentum because of that unchanging monetary policy and we also got some new fear introduced into the market when the, the auditing firm Mazars uh, pulled back on some of their reports regarding the, the reserves of some exchanges, right? So that's that's bearish, uh, especially after what happened with FTX that creates a lot of fear in the market, made us drop down. And uh, Jasmine right now is, is not a very strong crypto. So Jasmine, uh, there was not a lot of buyer power to actually buy up the Jasmine. So we fell relatively hard compared to other cryptos. Like with Ethereum, if Ethereum falls, there are still a lot of people uh, eyeing it and, and, and checking it and, and buying it. For Jasmine, there are still people who do that, of course, but um, like significantly less. All right, so that happened. Made us drop down to this uh, support level right here around 300. Um, that has been our support and we've kind of been consolidating between 325 and 300. Um, the thing is, is that right now the, the, the market circumstances are still not bullish. Uh, they're, they're kind of neutral. So what's happening is that we're, we're consolidating between these two levels and, and what would need to happen, I think, uh, which you could also compare with, with the drop after FTX. See, what happened after FTX is that we, we were kind of uh, down here and we were, not really, um, we, we were not really strong yet. But then when we actually got that bullish breakout above 380 and really solidified that, then we could consolidate. So we need to get, for Jasmine, we need to get some sort of a bullish breakout, otherwise, We'll drop down to our next support level around 260 and 250. That would be our next support level if 300 uh, breaks. So if we get a bearish breakout. Um, now, I do think we can do that. I do think even though 325 and then just above that at 335, it's also a strong resistance level. I do think that at some point in, in the next week or something, we can break above that and uh, maybe reach up towards 350. We don't even need to do that. We just need to break above, I think, 325. If we're able to do that, then I think we can actually uh, consolidate here. Uh, but I don't see any reason why we would go up again uh, for, for Jasmine, un unless we get some very bullish fundamentals for, for the entire crypto market or for Jasmine specifically. But for now, I, I really see don't see any reason why, why we would go up. I mean, we could go up to 350, but I don't think we'll break it. So overall, short term, you could be bullish about Jasmine, but if, if you zoom out, it really doesn't mean a whole lot that's just my take obviously on jasmine you can have your opinion about it as well but for now that's my take so if you do have any questions let me know and uh, have a great day and bye